In an ideal world, we would have an intimate connection with this amazing planet that we live on. We would get out in nature, we would dig in the dirt for our food, we'd pull an apple right from the tree and eat it. That's kind of where our natural probiotics in nature are found. But unfortunately, this does not really describe the average person. We really don't get out as much as we should. We kind of live in our homes, our cars, our offices, and we've created this barrier between ourselves and this very important environment that contains this healthy bacteria. We have things like sanitation laws, antimicrobial everything, things that are creating this barrier between our bodies and this very needed um, healthy bacteria. On top of that, we have tremendous things that some are in our, in our control, some are not in our control, that are killing this healthy bacteria. So I wanna go over with you guys today seven things that are unfortunately killing this healthy bacteria in your body. So the first one is gonna ring a bell with probably all of you. The first one's antibiotics. Everyone knows that antibiotics kill all the bacteria good and bad bacteria. But did you know that your food supply is also a source of antibiotics? So sometimes people will say to me, well, Charity, I don't ever take antibiotics, ever. But what they're not aware of is sometimes the source of food, like the, the meat, the chicken, those types of things. There's a lot of antibiotics in those foods that you need to be aware of. So what I tell people is when you are choosing how do you spend your grocery budget, the one area that I recommend maybe taking a look and spending a few extra dollars is in that category of your meat, your chicken, your cheese, your eggs, those sort of things. The second thing that a lot of people need to be aware of is that sugar and artificial sweeteners are things that kill the healthy bacteria. It's a sad thing to know that sugary sweet drink or treat of yours is actually not doing you any favor. So when you know better, you can do better. These are all just lists that I kind of want to go over so that you are aware of the things that are killing that healthy bacteria. The third thing that I want you guys to be aware of is our food supply. And unfortunately, there's something in our food supply that is very detrimental to our healthy bacteria, and it's called glyphosate. You might wanna Google glyphosate so you can learn a little bit more, but essentially, this is a chemical compound that's found in Roundup. So you know Roundup, you buy it at the, the store, you spray your weeds with, well, in terms of our farming in this country, glyphosate's everywhere, and it's a, it, it's causing terrible damage. So let me give you a little bit of background. You're like, well, how in the world would something like glyphosate even get passed and be allowed in this country? And here's kind of what happened. So the inventors of Roundup or glyphosate went to the FDA and they said, hey, listen, we can prove to you that this chemical actually only kills plant cell pathways, and actually does not kill human cell pathways. So it's deemed to be safe. Well, now we know we actually have more bacterial cells than we do human cells. And that glyphosate that kills, it's called the um, shikimut pathway, bacterial cells have that exact same pathway as plant cells. So in our food supply is a chemical that is directly killing and attacking this healthy bacteria in our body. So it's kind of kind of a bummer to know, but it's, it's very true. And, important to be aware of. Um, some other things that you guys might wanna know is pollution. If you live in a big city, unfortunately we know pollution affects negatively that healthy bacteria. Um, toxins in our home, just chemicals that we are constantly being exposed to, they go in and they deplete us of, of beneficial bacteria. Prolonged birth control use, excessive alcohol, those are a few other things that people might not be aware of, but they really do cause harm to the microbiome. Um, so if any of these describe you or describe things that might be part of your everyday life, don't worry, stay tuned, click on the next video, and I'll talk about things that you can do to help rebuild that healthy bacteria.